we talked about this head and shoulder on the ZN. Notice here, this head started about, it, it lasted about a year, look. Started about like October 22, cracked down in May 23, so a little less over a year. So let's call it like a roughly eight months. We have a head, and I told you, until the elections, we're working this shoulder here. And this shoulder goes from the division of third here, from the right calculator, you know, and this is the right calculator edges. See, this edge is right there, and this edge is right there. That box, your entire shoulder on the ZN, right there, see? Boom. There is nothing else I have to do because it's all, the job is already done for me, especially if you are a bond trader. The job is already done for you. And by the way, if this is helpful, guys, your support on the feed so we can do more feed is appreciated with your likes and comments. Okay? So I suspect, so now if you look at the, the right shoulder that we cracked, it's cracked around December, so eight months, give or take. It's going to bring us till this game is going to be played till about August. So till August, I expect the bond to play that range, which is in the calculator, the 113 to about the 108. And why is that important? Because each time the bonds drop all the way to the 108, this is where you buy the market. Each time the bonds goes before August, say here, 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 towards that 113, this is where you can expect a pull balling in the market because it's symmetry. That shoulder lasted eight months. This said, this shoulder should last about eight months. So I'm looking at symmetry within the probability box rule of third, which is patented now. And those are very strong division support and resistance right there. And as well, and I'm looking. So right now we are going down, which puts pressure on asset, which if you go to SPX, the SPX chart, and we talked about that chart last week, look, we had over 89% chance, 87% chance of success of a short. So if you look at the probability of the calculator, the patented tools, we still have 89% chance of a retracement on the market. So at the very least, I expect the market at one point to retrace that trend line or here, that division rule of third, which is roughly 49.20. And by the way, we're at 5,200. 5,200. If we go at 49.20, it's nothing. It's 270 points. So that would be barely a 5% retracement in the market between now and the elections. It's nothing. And a lot of people are looking to buy this pullback. A lot of people are buy, looking to buy this pullback. There's a lot of cash waiting to buy that cycle. So 49.20 would be one Christmas gift, but even a better Christmas gift is come to retesting the trend line around the 4,600. Right? That would be the ultimate gift. So it looks like we are going to zigzag a lot between now and the elections. But if we have a sudden dump, and, and, and you have to understand, and I was telling my guys, the hardest thing to find, guys, in an economical cycle that gets out of a two year dump and we start coming back where there's a lot of money on the sidelines to prepare the next cycle, depending on who is going to be president. The hardest, hardest thing, guys, is to short. So I was telling the guys, look here, this short is difficult because the puts are not priced properly, I noticed lately. You still look at the trend on the probability power trend. You still have net buyers, even on the short term. Net buyers on major block, minor block. You still have an overall, overall trend, even for day trading up. And on the long term, 
The institutionals are buying, the major blocks are still intact and minor. So those two levels, the 4920 and the 4600, if it's helpful, please smash the like button, be engaged in the discourse. It's going to be critical. So now on the top, after we reach those levels, then we are going to like zoom. And we are going to zoom to the round number close to the 5,500. This, this is what it looks like the market wants to do. Now, a lot of the, 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 the assets are, are, are stuck and we'll look at the crypto market with Bitcoin, Ethereum, when we do the, 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 this, this part as well. It's very stuck right now and it could crack very fast, creating down, week, down weeks that are very violent and a quick elastic snapback, zoom, with the institutions. And I see it clearly here, 49.20, 49.15 on the division of fur to the trend line here at 4,600. This is where it's going to land with a top at 5,500. So knowing those three points of reference is, is huge if you are a trader in ES, SPY, you know, SPX, this is what I do mostly, right, during the day. And then I buy, I take those profits and buy assets and reinject them in assets, you know, like this quarter of a million dollar portfolio that I showed you every month. You know, we finished last year on one, two, three portfolios, mainly with retirement portfolios at $223,000 up 27% when the biggest investor, the best investor of all time, Warren Buffett, average compound for the last 40 years, 20%. So that was a good year last year. Then we started the year with a bang as well, you know, with a 4% increase in January and February, so in two months. So I will have to re-update the portfolios for April, and we are going to do that. But the key is you understand is I they trade for income to re-inject that income into assets, into stocks that can provide me income as well by selling uh, cover call puts, but I want the assets. Same with the cryptos, you know, uh, crypto accounts here, 22K where I have some Ethereum, some Bitcoin on one account, and then there are accounts where I do everything. And then I day trade here Maybe one option on NVIDIA, one option on SMCI, right? But mainly, mainly I stick to what I do, which is the SPX option, okay? Now, if you look at the, the US dollar DXC, it's kind of doing nothing. You know, people said the dollar is strong, the dollar is strong. You're looking at a weekly chart here, look, it's doing nothing. It's in a range, you know, roughly the 150 to this range here, 107 and the calculator edge of 106 and 104.50. So, you know, 106, people buy the market, 150, people sell the market, that's it, you know. So it's not super, super complicated here on the Dixie, you know, it's been uh, for over a year in a range, if you look at the weekly charts. And I urge you guys to look at weekly charts and four hour charts, weekly charts, four hour charts. If you look at my day trading setup, a lot of the charts are set up to four hours to have a better vision. And then I refine with a three or five minute chart with the tools, especially to get our uh, a secret weapon the power volume indicator net by your net sellers at the bottom here when I trade the SPY. So if I go here and I change to your three minutes, the power volume indicator gives me everything that I need. Because it shows me if there is a fuel within the move of the market. Like yesterday we started opening and it went down, but they started buying. So I knew they were going to go sideways again and play within the resistance of that edge of the probability rule of field. Okay? So we went through the ZN, we went through the DXC, we went through the SPX, let's look at the VIX. So if you look at the VIX on a weekly basis, 
same but it is in the range but if you look since 2017 on the VIX we're kind of making higher lows here see me so we are making higher lows on the VIX so we can't say that this 12 area on the VIX this 12 area 1150 is going to be a solid support for the rest of the year and it proves that each time they go towards that 1150 or 12 on the VIX guys they uh, uh, seems to hold it and then they crack down and this is where I also can put a downtrend structure line you know and we'll do it roughly from last because this was a range at 37 so you can put a one like this and then I look at the edges of the calculators on both sides so one here and one here. So we know the 2025 is going to be key. So you see how we we think really at a high level here. You you, you because that helps your day trading as well is to look at the you are not looking at the flowers in the forest. You are like a drone above the forest, zooming and flying the drone, and you can see the interior picture better. And so coming in the stream on Wednesday like this is very powerful because you come, we do the cuts, we'll put them on day trading zones. But if you don't want to wait for the cuts and you want it now, what's happening now, you come, make sure you come to the live event because we are going to do more and more live event. And now you see you structure the VIX at 11.512 on the bottom and you structure the VIX at 20.25 on the top. And that's very helpful for your day trading. Because then you refine, you go to the day trading screen and say, okay, what are we coming to this morning? Are we coming to a little bit like yesterday? Bonds down, you know, VIX a little bit up, but look at the, the dollar, it's going down. If the dollar going down, there is risk on because they are buying an asset. So what I want to see is the, the dollar continuing, see if it punches towards that 106, 107 that we discussed, right? Push the market and then the buyer starts coming. So be careful this morning, we might have a retracement of the dollar here towards the 104, but then it's going to try to go to the 106, 107, which means that maybe now for now, the SPY has lower higher a little bit, right? But it's very, very difficult to trade the downside right now. As a matter of fact, the only thing I've been trading is futures on the e-mini, you know, the mini NQ, the mini ES. You know, that's all I have done, really. Because the main part is, it's like an elastic. We stretch, we stretch, we snap back, we go back to the means. And at one point, they are going to go back up because there's so much money waiting to play that cycle. So play the short very, very Prudently, I play no more than 5 to 12 SPY puts right now. But I mainly do the futures. Why? Because with the futures, I am in, out. I also can control my daily risk with my trailing stops, my max daily loss, my uh, uh, account trailing profit, you know. So I can... Also monitor my average win, my average loss, my average profit per win, per loss, how many trades I've done for the day. So my matrix are a little tighter on the future side, right? But that's it. But all I want is keep on adding to the stocks that I like when we do the stock review. And we'll do a couple of stocks like AMD, Palantir. I want to keep on adding. So if you look at the quarter million dollar portfolio here, right? I just want to keep on adding when the market sell. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, I do wake up, I do welcome, <laughs> not wake up, but welcome, the selling on the quarter million dollar portfolios. You know, I want to add to the retirement portfolio. So let's look at a couple of positions here. For instance, let's take a pen. 
And that's part of your stock market plan, guys. You need to have the short term for income, and then you add it. You add the stuff, you know, for long term investing with asset protections and tax efficiency. That's the only way, guys, that you can be wealthy. So, uh, if this is helpful, your likes, comments are appreciated, guys. You know, we try to help you to give you the, the value every weekend. So, look, for instance, my favorite one on pullback. I want to buy more Amazon. I want to buy more Google. I want to buy more Intel, Palantir, Shopify. I'm already on PayPal. I might buy 10 more share on PayPal. I'm already loaded at and Verizon. I think at and Verizon, Walgreens are going to be dead for this cycle. But leading from 2026 to the next election, 2029, these will be the best stocks to own because they are killed. All you do here is get the dividend pretty much. So I see it as an expansion bond within the next 10 years. So Amazon, Google, Intel, Palantir, a little bit of PayPal, and maybe Conbase. But look, I have enough Conbase. 55 shares of Conbase is plenty enough. It's like $11,000 invested in Conbase. So that's, that's plenty enough here for the $75,000 account. And then there is the $100,000 account. There's similar position on the $100,000 account, right? See, we start again, same theme, Amazon, Shopify, Intel, right? Some of the same value stock, Verizon, AT&T, Walgreens, right? So what I'm going to do is on pullback, guys, what do you do on pullback? You keep on adding. Because this is the cycle where the, and what cash am I going to use? I'm going to use the SPXS offset cash. So let me show you. This is super, super important, and it's a super uh, good trick for everybody. So let me show you. If you look at the accounts here, and you notice at the bottom, look what do I have. 750 share of SPXS, the triple bear ETF. If the market pulls back, like I showed you, this is going to go up. When it goes up to support, I get out of SPXS with a profit. And now I can redeploy, you know, all that cash, $10,000 or whatever, to add here. Add on the Amazon, add on the Intel, add on the AT&T Verizon network. And this is how you guys create a very powerful stock portfolio and trade intelligently for asset protections and tax efficiency if you really want to be successful at this game. Don't want to be successful? Go day trade, blow up your DGEN account, put everything in day trading, and I assure you, it's not when, it's not if, but it's when you're going to blow up everything. Do it intelligently. You know, I use only less than 10% of my assets to day trade. I use about 10% the same, less than 10% on cryptos and everything else. Asset, asset with tax efficiency and asset protections. Hope it was helpful. This was the stock review, guys.